Hello friends and felines and welcome back to my channel. I am filming on my phone which I haven't done in a while because I am out in the world. I am doing another vlog which I don't do regularly and I don't have a vlogging camera so if the quality on this is not the best I apologize but I'm also not going to be purchasing a vlogging camera. So for today's adventures we're going to Walmart to get some packing tape and then I am sending out my package for my giveaway winner um, all the way to California. But luckily, like, regular ground shipping wasn't too expensive. So, hopefully everything gets there in one piece and nothing breaks. It's always the plan. Um, but the main purpose of today's video is to go to Michael's and use up my voucher and get some fall decorations. Trying to decorate, I think, my backdrop for filming. I have some Halloween decorations, but like no fall ones, so I think that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started. The sun is behind me right now, which is totally not flattering, but I don't know if anyone else's Michael's has um, not stocked up fall stuff yet, but come on, it's September 2nd. Like as soon as August is over, I'm in the fall mood. I don't go any earlier than September because August is my birthday month and I'm a full summer baby, but I did find, I think one cute item. I don't know if it'll go in my backdrop, but it's cute like little fall pumpkin and it lights up, which I did not know was a nice little surprise. So let me switch hands. And I'll light this up for you. So yeah, it lights up. I mean, obviously it's daytime, so it's not like really vibrant, but I think I'm just gonna go and be a basic white girl and go Starbucks and get a fall drink. And then maybe tomorrow after work, I will stop at Hobby Lobby on my way home because I don't have one in Batavia, but let's go get Starbucks. So I'm back home and I feel like this whole trip was a bust. I end up going to Target because that's the only Starbucks we have and they didn't have my signature drink. My signature fall drink is not the pumpkin spice latte, but it's a salted caramel mocha, which is so good. And they didn't have it. They only had the salted caramel cold brew, which I don't really drink. And I think the new like apple crisp drink replaced my salted caramel mocha. So I'm pretty bummed about that, but I did get a pumpkin spice latte. And I mean, I don't normally drink these, but it is it is really good. I enjoy it. I just miss my salted caramel mocha. I don't know if it's just my location or if it's all Starbucks, but I'm really bummed out about that. So tomorrow after work, hopefully, um, I can go to a Hobby Lobby and they'll have some more fall things. If not, I might have to wait a few days, but that is it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. All right, hello friends and felines. We are back in the beauty filming plant room and we're gonna go over the things I could find when I went out shopping. That first part of the video was my first attempt at Michaels and the Michaels that I have near me in Batavia did not have like any fall decorations yet, at least nothing that I saw that I liked. Um, but we're just gonna go over the things that I did find in the rest of the adventures that I did not vlog because I was with my fiance and he probably would have been like sitting there the whole time judging me and like slightly hating me for trying to vlog while he was there or if I was doing it in public he definitely would not have liked that. <laughs> so anyways that's just a quick little video we're gonna go over everything I got I'm gonna change up my background a little bit and we will venture into fall together now that it is September and like temperatures have already started dropping I am so ready for fall. August is my month for the summer so once it hits September 1st, I'm 100% a fall basic white girl. All right, so like I said, this was the first thing that I got from Michaels. It was the only thing that I found that I kind of liked. It does light up, so that will be cool in the background. This is originally $30, and I think it was on sale for $16, and I had a $5 voucher, so... um. Yeah, I saved a lot of money on just this one item. So that was like super cool. 
This will eventually go into the background. So originally I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby the day after I went to Michael's the first time. I was gonna hit it up on my way home from work, but I decided not to do that and I wanted to save going to Hobby Lobby on the weekend with my fiance, cause I've never been. He likes the store and we were gonna go together and do like a nice little adventure. Um, so I didn't check the hours. It is Labor Day weekend, so I didn't check the hours. Um, and we were talking about how apparently like Hobby Lobby was being canceled for some like Christian related beliefs. I don't know much about that, so I'm literally not going to get into that. But as soon as he said that, like we drove up past Hobby Lobby, they had to like do a U-turn and go into their parking lot. And there were like no cars. And I was like, oh, are they open? And they are closed on Sundays. So, which makes sense after I said that if they are like Christian, they're probably like Chick-fil-A and they are closed on Sundays. So, yeah, we drove all the way out there and Hobby Lobby was closed. But we did have a bunch of other errands to run. We ended up going to Beers of the World and Sunset Hydroponics so we could get some stuff for some home brewing. My fiance is dabbling in trying to brew mead, which is like a honey alcoholic beverage. Um, we'll see how it goes. That's all his project. I help out, but that's really his his baby, his project. I don't even get into it. So we got around to get some like yeast and stuff for bottling because one of the batches should be ready and then hopefully they can taste it and hopefully it tastes okay or at least it's drinkable. So I'm like, well, all right, Hobby Lobby is closed. Let's just like check out a couple of things here in Henrietta to see if they had anything else that like my Michaels didn't have. So we did go to Marshall's first and I did find some cute stuff there. Um, everything was pretty much like reasonably priced. So originally I want to go to Hobby Lobby because I saw Paige Corn's video and she found like an amber bottle with like um, pompous grass, like feathers or something. I thought that'd be really cute like all year round, but you could also use it for fall. Um, but Hobby Lobby was closed and I haven't found anything like that recently. But I did find this tall heavy thing, which I feel like it's going to be too big for my backdrop probably. I mean, probably like most definitely, honestly, but we will figure something out with this. This is like heavy duty. It says it's 100% recycled glass and it was handmade in Spain, which is pretty cool. And this is $14.99. So like seriously, 15 bucks for this giant thing. Like this is like actually pretty cool. So then I was trying to find something to put into that giant like glass. And I found these California Preserve Botanicals. Um, it's got like eucalyptus in here. This was $16.99. And it smells so good. It smells like it's from a craft store. Like it smells like what you would walk into like Michael's or like Joanne Fabrics. That's literally what it smells like. But it's all like deeper fall colors. They've got like burgundy, like eucalyptus strands in here. I don't even know everything that's like in here. But yeah, so we're just, just gonna put this um, in that container. It says eucalyptus is subject, subject to bleeding in high humidity, so keep in dry environments and away from walls and surfaces. That might be an issue, we will see. Then also it's a completely random thing. I found this like pretty heavy duty wood, like display platform table thing that I could use for my background, but I could also use it year round in like other places of the home. I could use this on my dining room table in the kitchen. Um, and this was $12.99. Acacia wood. I don't know, handcrafted in India, but this is like pretty heavy duty. So, I don't know, I was excited about this. Alright, and then the last thing is just like this simple fall sign that says blessed because I want to replace my two posters in the background with some fall related ones. And this one was $10, so it was really nice and simple. So then there was another Michael store that was like right next to Marshall, so we went in there to see if they had a better selection than the one in Batavia. And they were definitely more stocked, but I still only found like a couple of things I was interested in. And like, I was just trying to find like certain particular things for some crafts I have coming up in the future, but like they didn't have any, so I'm gonna have to just go on Amazon. Um, but the first one I found is just like a cool like candle votive holder thing. So you have this glass here if you have like taller ones, or you could take this out so you could fit like a Bath and Body Works candle into here. Um, but it's nice and cute and like fall. And this was originally $20, but everything was on sale, so this ended up being $12 instead. And I have like this cute Moroccan spice candle. I got my Fat Fun box. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But this is just so 
<sighs> it smells so good and it's like kind of like rose gold bronzy so they kind of like go together so I thought like that'd be really cute to put my candle in there and now the glass is like all dirty so I'm gonna have to clean that but so I found that and then I found one other poster um, for my wall and this again was also $20 but it was on sale for 12 and this is just like another just happy fall sign and it's kind of like uh, I don't know what this material is like it's like wicker mesh board stuff I don't really know but I thought this was cute. And then, you know, I might keep like some of my stuff from my background, but like all like the pink stuff's gonna go away for the fall. Um, and then obviously when we get into October 1st, I will start putting some Halloween decorations out. But for now, I think I'll just do some fall things. So I think I'm just gonna do like a quick time lapse of just cleaning everything off of here and like kind of figuring out how I wanna do the decorations. And yeah, we'll see if I need to get anything else, but I don't want to get too many things to make my backdrop like too crowded, if that makes sense. All right, before we get into cleaning, I do have a quick little candle haul from Bath and Body Works. Um, so I had a gift card for my birthday, so I got a few fall candles. We'll start off with my least favorite. Um, it's hard buying stuff online because there's some scents I know I like and I can replace them when I run out. And then other ones, it's just kind of a gamble. So this one was a gamble and I do not like this one, but we'll burn it and we'll see how it is. This one's called Fall Farmhouse. And this one, it's like, oh, I think it's the pine that gets me. So it says it's spiced pumpkin, forest pine branch, fresh fall air with natural essential oils. And I'm not much into like pine and that's like kind of very overpowering. At first it smells like pumpkin, which smells good. Then the pine comes in and it's just too much for me. Like I don't like any, um, Christmas scents that are like pine or needles and stuff like that so not my favorite next we have cinnamon stick and this one literally just smells like cinnamon but it's not like too overpowering it's not like in your face like cinnamon so that one's really nice then I just got a repurchase of the mahogany teak wood we had a small single wick candle of this that's pretty much almost out because we both me and my fiance love this scent it's one scent we can actually gray on burning in our house and this literally just smells like the Abercrombie like that's pretty much what this is like this is the scent of Abercrombie and some people don't like it but I'm obsessed with it all right the next one is a pretty famous one but I've never actually owned this and this is flannel and I think this is like a good in between like seasons like you could burn this fall through winter like all the way until spring this has fresh bergamot heirloom mahogany soft musk with natural essential oils oh, it smells so good it's like, again, kind of like warming yourself up in some guy's flannel that has like cologne on it. And then the next new one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And I love the packaging on this one. It's super cute. And obviously this one just smells like pumpkin. But again, it has like a little bit of spice in it. So it's got cinnamon, clove, vanilla cream, brown sugar. But it's like also like pumpkin. So it's like not just like right in your face pumpkin. Like I said, I also have that Moroccan Spice candle from FabFitFun, and then I have this candle, um, which is like kind of old. This is from Better Homes and Gardens. You can get it at Walmart, I think. And this is just Caramel Fireside, and this one smells really good. It smells like burnt caramel, which might not sound good, but like I like it. So I'm switching around scents, so I'll have some of these fall ones burning in here, and I'll like move them all around. So now let's get into cleaning.
All right, so I put all of the dried eucalyptus and stuff into this giant thing, which ended up being like way too big for my backdrop. Cause like that goes almost all the way up to the ceiling. So when I'm zoomed in, you're not gonna be able to see that. So I makeshifted a stack of boxes over there, which is probably not safe. So. It's gonna live there, it may or may not be in my backdrop, but at least I feel a little bit more falling here and it smells amazing. So I'll probably just put like my big teddy bear in front of that to hide the boxes. So yeah. So signs, I think I'm just gonna have one here. I might met, um, rearrange these again once I'm like zoomed in and I see what my backdrop's actually gonna look like. I'm gonna take this little nail out of the wall. I feel like if I do it like that, it's a little bit more even because if I hang it by that knot, like, I don't know, does that make sense? I don't know if that looks good. I might just move this again. I don't know what I'm doing yet, to be honest. I think instead of nails for this one, I'm gonna save those for when I put my old poster back up. I'm just gonna like put a command strip. <sighs> this is still gonna go up here because I have nowhere else to put it and it's usually hidden behind my head. I'm just not gonna have the pink Jeffree Star mirror in there, so I have my fan still. And I'm thinking with the wood thing like over here off to the side, and I put batteries in it. I don't know where the cover for the battery door went. It's somewhere on my ground. I put batteries in, so it lights up now. I don't know what else to put up here though. I feel like I need more stuff. That's like bronzy, it kind of like keeps like the same theme going. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with it more and figure it out. All right, so this is where we're at right now. It's probably gonna change. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not fully in love with it. I'm also um, filming on my wide zoom lens right now um, so I could fit everything in the backdrop. Um, but it is more fall. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. I might go back to Michael's at some point and just get like a strand of leaves and kind of just like wrap it around everything that's up there. Um, so like I have a bunch of random stuff. Like this is like a monkey's fist ball that I got my fiance like randomly. It's like an inside thing. And then like that bucket over there is from when we went sunflower picking last year for my birthday in August. And then you can see that stuff off to the side. Um, I also might take down the green stuff for now. I just like let it drop down behind so it's not up for the rest of the year. It probably like, won't come up again until spring. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I still have a lot to figure out. But hopefully by like the next video I film, the backdrop will be all set. All right. Hi. Hello. It is a different day and I want to hop on really quick just to show you guys a couple more items that I got to fill in my fall backdrop. Um, I'm literally just like in my pajama clothes. I don't even have a bra on right now. So that's where we're at. Um, so yeah, I bought this little like leafy garland thing. It kind of like moves and bends so you can like manipulate it however you want right here. As well as just that little like flower strand up there that if I have to like zoom in for like videos like this, you're not going to see it anyways. But I thought it was cute and I thought my backdrop was a little empty. I did take down the greenery um, that will probably go back up in spring. I don't know if you can see off to the side or if it's out of view, but I did go back to Marshall's and I bought the exact same container with um, dried bouquet flowers. Um, these flowers probably won't last until my wedding, but I thought that these like amber kind of containers would be like a cute decoration for our sweetheart table, like one on either side since our wedding's gonna be in the fall. And then when the time comes, I can always just go ahead and buy like more dried flowers or something to decorate with. Thankfully, I got that stuff from a different Marshalls than the first time that I got the one that's over in that corner. So it didn't look like I was too crazy. And the mic or the Marshalls that I bought the first one with um, only had one container and one bouquet flowers. And same with this Marshalls, they only had one of those containers and one of those bouquet flowers. So that worked out. Just a quick thing, these strands, like these leafy garland things were like expensive, like a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. Thankfully stuff was on sale. So the, I don't know, one says peony and one says sunflower. Okay, so this is the sunflower one, the one that's on my storage things. This was normally $30 for this little thing. Um, and it was on sale for $18, so not a bad 
deal on that. And then the flowers up there, the peonies were originally $25 and they were on sale for 15. So go get that sale at Michael's if you want any fall decorations because otherwise they're ridiculously expensive. All right, back to the video. So this was kind of like a chaotic video. If you end up watching it and enjoyed it for some reason, which I don't think anyone will, give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. I love you guys. I'm subscribed to my channel. I welcome you my feline family. Bye.